What's going on ladies and gentlemen? How are you doing today? Hope you're excited because today we have our second hobby box of 2023-24 Series 1. Very excited to rip into another one of these. Had a lot of fun opening up the first box. Still looking for guys like Evangelista, Luke Hughes. Uh, I am recording this on the day after release day so I should have some values for you guys for some of the cards today. So that's exciting. Of course still hunting after that Connor Bedard Easter egg card. Leave a comment down below guys if you're enjoying Series 1. If you like the new configuration. I enjoyed it the first time. Still interested to see what the secondary market looks like for some of these parallel cards like the outbursts and stuff like that make sure you smash the like button on this video and make sure you subscribe because we're currently running our thousand subscriber giveaway if you haven't entered that giveaway already you have until november 2nd to do so the link to the giveaway video is in the description head on over to that video follow the instructions make sure you enter the giveaway and make sure you follow us over on instagram as well at our sports cards just like the first box, I ended up getting this box for $150 Canadian plus tax. Definitely a little more expensive than these have been in the past. So hopefully we hit some nice cards in this box. And without further ado, let's rip into our second box of 2023-24 Series 1. Okay, we got our first pack here. Hopefully we can hit some of the top guys, maybe some cool parallels, stuff like that. Okay, first pack up. Start with a Brady Kachuk base on the front. So you can tell what the inserts are now that we've opened up a box of this stuff. Uh, this is one of the common inserts. These are called Star Surge, still learning them, so bear with me here. And behind we got one of these 85, oh, it's one of the gold 85 by 200s of Johnny Gaudreau. So that's one of the gold rare parallels. And we have our first Young Guns in behind that as well. See who our first Young Guns are going to be. It's not a parallel Young Guns. A base Young Guns of Nikita Nestorenko there. Not a very great one. Some decent potential, but we'll have to wait and see on him. Maybe a more long-term project. All right, next pack up. See what our first insert's gonna be. I see so, uh, an oh, it looks like we got an outburst here. It looks like it could be a young gun, so that's something to be excited about. But first, we got a debut dates of Luke Hughes there. Luke Hughes debut dates. Uh, got a portrait by the looks of it, UD portraits of Andrei Svechnikov and his whatever that's called gown, I guess. <laughs> and it looks like we do have an outburst young gun, so this could be a good card. Uh, I'm not sure what these outbursts are selling for currently, but if you get a good oh. Is that Toronto? I don't think so. Is that Washington? It's a capital. Who is that? Outburst Young Guns there of silver of Vincent Iorio though there. Uh, interesting. Definitely not one of the top guys in this product, but nice that get we get a parallel Young Guns of some sort. So we'll take that. Outburst shouldn't count as one of our Young Guns either. So we should be expecting still uh, five more Young Guns. So we'll be looking out for those. See what we got here in the next pack. Looks like we do have another Young Guns coming up. But first, we got some inserts. First, we're going to look at a Star Zone of Alex Ovechkin. Is this an, oh, this is one of the teacher's pets in behind. Game-winning goals of Sidney Crosby. And our next Young Guns looks like another base Young Guns of... Another goaltender, not the right goaltender though. Jackson Stober there, goaltender for the Chicago Blackhawks. Goalies, you never know, so it's nice to get a goalie, I guess. Next pack up, hopefully we see one of the top young guns today. Uh, looks like we got another one here in this pack. With this new formation, it seems like you get a young guns like crazy, like in every pack almost. Uh, oh, we got one of these. I think this is one of the more rare inserts. I don't think I got one of these in the last box. Uh, what is this? Special edition Sidney Crosby. Is this numbered red? Uh, unless it's just a parallel red because we did. I do think we got a special edition. It just wasn't red. Uh, okay, we'll have to take a look at that. Oh, we got one of them in behind. Just a normal special edition by the looks of it of Sebastian Ajo. And then we got a Young Guns in behind that. Uh, looks like a Philadelphia Flyer. It's going to be Adam Ginning there, defenseman. Another defenseman. We've been getting so many defensemen young guns here in these two boxes, and the trend continues. Okay, it looks like we got our Blue Dazzlers for the box here in this next pack. See who we got. Uh, looks like we also got a portrait and debut dates just by looking at it. Oh, it's going to be Marie Sider there on the Blue Dazzlers. This is now third year Sider already. It's kind of crazy to think that. Also got a debut dates there of our guy I Rio again making another appearance. Uh, and then in behind we got a portraits of Kyle Connor. 
All right, come on, let's see something. This one of the big guys, one of the big names. I haven't seen too many of them in these two boxes. Uh, the big young guns, that is. Uh, we'll start off with a normal insert, a nice star zone there of Mark Stone. In behind, it looks like we got our first rookie retrospective. This one's going to be it's going to be Peter Kochekov there on the rookie retrospective. And it looks like we got another young guns. Come on, let's see Matthew Nyes. Uh, it's not Nyes. That's Luke Hughes. Hey, we'll take a Luke Hughes. Definitely one of the top names, if not the top name between him and Nyes for the most part. Luke Hughes, very happy with that. I'm a little skeptical on what the base Young Guns will sell for uh, a couple months down the road. We'll see what the parallels do to these base Young Guns. I'm interested to see what happens. But for now, that's a good hit. I'll take that. I think with this new configuration, it's really dr probably going to draw people to open up more hobby because of all the exclusive hobby parallels. At least I'm assuming they're going to be exclusive, the numbered stuff. A lot of the C1 retail comes out. But first, we got a 200 by 85 there of Matt Barzell. Our first superstar on roll going to be Nazem Kadri. And it looks like we got our first canvas card, just normal UD canvas there of Linus, Armel Linus Allmark. Excuse me. All right, next up, looks like we got another one of these brown cards, the Teacher's Pets, uh, and another... Star Zone, oh, Special Edition, sorry. Jack Eichel, some of them look similar. Jack Eichel, Special Edition, Teacher's Pet there of Scott Lawton leading the league in shorthanded points, I'm guessing that is. And we got another Young Guns in behind. See who this one's going to be. Uh, young Guns of, on the Sens, Tyler Clevin there. So a decent defenseman. Uh, doesn't have a ton of hobby upside, but definitely has some NHL potential. Tyler Clevin, probably one of the better D-man we've got in these two boxes, so I'll take it. And our final four packs, uh, we still need three canvas cards. So we should be getting a canvas card and three out of the four of these last packs. Uh, and here's one here. So we'll see what we get. Oh, we got our first stat box fillers of the box there, Brady Kachuk. Superstar honor roll, William Nylander. And let's see what our next canvas card is going to be. Is it a Young Guns? Uh, I don't think so. Nope, just a normal canvas there of Miro Haskinen. Let's see if we can pull anything crazy here in these last three packs. You never know with this new configuration what you're going to get. So it is a little exciting. Oh, it looks like we got another 200 by 85 since we got a gold one earlier. This one's going to be Charlie McAvoy. Oh, it looks like we got a superstar honor rolling behind that of Matthew Kachuk. And we got another canvas card. Is it a young gun? It's kind of hard to tell because, yeah, I think it's just a base, the canvas there of Gabe Velarde. It's very easy to tell when you had a normal canvas and a young and canvas in the past products because they're different colors. But this year they're the same color, so it's kind of tough to tell. Uh, looks like we got a young guns here in this pack, and we probably have a canvas in the next pack. So we'll see what young guns we got here. First, though, we got a star surge of Andre Kuzmenko, second year Kuzmenko. In behind, I got a stat box filler, Eric Carlson. We'll see what maybe our last young guns is. I'm not sure how many more we still need. Uh, who's that? That's a blue jacket. That's going to be me Hunter McGowan there. Another not terrific one. Not a ton of hobby upside, but one I don't have, so I'll take it. Okay, final pack here of our second box of 2023-24 Series 1. Assuming we get a canvas in this pack and some other random inserts, but you never know. It could be a young and canvas too. Uh, actually, yeah, okay, we do have a canvas. Uh, it looks like we just have some other inserts. It looks like a portrait. Oh, no, it's one of these uh, teacher's pet. Teacher's pet there, report card, goals, A-plus, Miko Rantanen, and behind another superstar on roll. I think that's the fourth one we got. Hey, Connor McDavid, we'll take that. And it looks like just a base canvas. Yes, a base canvas, but it looks like a hab. Who's it going to be? Hey, I'll take that for the PC. Brendan Gallagher canvas. That's a nice looking one. Uh, so yeah, no young and canvas in this box, but we got one in the first one. Overall, I'd say because of the hues, it was a solid box. Could have been better, could have been worse. Let's go through the recap. Overall, I'd say that was pretty solid. Uh, we got the Gallagher canvas for the PC. We got the special gold uh, parallel of the Johnny Gaudreau 200 by 85. We got the special red parallel, the special edition of Sidney Crosby. That's nice. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another seven young gun box, including the outburst parallel. That's kind of neat. Definitely the best card, in my opinion, is probably the Luke Hughes base still, though, because uh, I'm not sure if these sell for much at all. And interesting, some nice parallels in this break. Probably not the greatest, but definitely some nice cards. None of these guys got in the first box, so that's a win. Uh, definitely some nice names for the set. Nice that they get the Luke Hughes. Would have liked an Owen Beck or Sean Farrell one of these boxes, but we'll have to rip open some more retail when that comes out or some more hobby later down the line. So let me know if you guys have been ripping any Series 1. What do you think of the new product? Are you guys excited for Series 2? Let me know down in the comments. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you don't miss out on that 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Take care, everybody. Have a good one.